want to put both of their hands up. Everybody in the building should have had your hands raised because all of us are just nobodies. Trying to tell that. But as messed up, as tore up, as jacked up as I was, when I met Jesus, I became wrapped up, tied up, and Y'all, y'all don't know when to shout, huh? Oh, here it is. Here, can I give you the picture? I moved from being messed up, tore up, and jacked up. But since I met Jesus, gave me some pep in my step, gave me some act right, gave me a new mind, and now I'm wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in his love. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all, y'all, listen, listen, listen. Fear will cause me to hang up on folk that's trying to help me. Fear has caused a lot of folk to leave the church. And it don't have nothing to do with anybody in the church. Are you in here? But they have an internal dilemma. And until you own up and take personal responsibility for your inner dilemma, God can't deal with it until you get real with it. Do I have any real folk in the building? Come on, y'all. Let let can, can we at least go into 2020 being real? Yeah, 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 yeah. God, I didn't do what I was supposed to do last year, but I'm gonna put forth a continuous concerted effort this year to do the very best I can because at the end of the day, you gave me your best. So you deserve my best. So so, I'm almost out of here, Sister Pritchett. So, Cause I heard somebody snoring. I, I just heard it. Don't worry about it, brother. Keep preaching. I ain't. But I, 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 I heard it out of one of these ears. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He grew fearful. He grew, he grew weary. But he grew fearful not to the point that he left God, but he went to God. Yes, Read your Bible. That's right there in your Bible. You see that rub? rub is it right there? It's right there in your Bible. Huh? Huh? Watch this here. So the next point I want to make to you, and, 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 and you know what? We'll, we'll make a right and keep on going right here. The next point I want to make to you is that you have to make sure that your seeking supersedes your seeing. Did y'all hear what I just said? Make sure that your seeking supersedes your seeing. Look at you, they say, drop the K on the second one. That, that, that's, all, that's all I'm trying to tell you. Drop the K on the second one. Drop the K, drop the K, drop the K, drop the K. Because them between seeking and seeing has everything to do with what I'm looking for. Here it is. Here's the, here's the idea. Jehoshaphat got word. Fear came upon him. And he sought the Lord. Anytime you seek the Lord, yeah. the Lord can be found. Yeah. 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 But the reason why we can't ever find him is because we going to everybody else except him. Yeah. You ain't got to say, man, just look at him, man. Look, oh, help me, huh? Look at your name and say, baby, quit looking at everybody else. And look at, they got the same mistakes you got. They got the same hangups you got. They have the same indiscretions. They have the same bills. Water, light, gas. Uh, they have the same issues that you have it's just that some folk wear the issues differently so I can be broke as a joke and still smile well rich folk think they gonna go broke and lose their mind y'all can't say amen huh and so I don't have to be at Ruth Chris to smile Steakhouse, steakhouse, steakhouse. 
Huh? I can be at, huh, Crystal and Dawson and smile. Talk back to me if you can. She can make me a grilled cheese at the house and I'm just as happy because I'm with my honey. Talk back to me if you can. Look at your name and say, it ought not take that much to make you smile. Somebody ain't crack, man, you ain't, some of y'all ain't cracked a smile since I've been standing up here. Uh, what's wrong with pastor now? What's wrong with you? Uh, you even dropped the T when you talk about that. What's wrong with pastor? Uh, it ain't pastor, it's pastor. Watch this, watch this. So make sure your seeking supersede your seeing. Jehoshaphat had gotten to that place where he says, listen, you know, God, God, I need your help. And in his prayer, he begins to talk with God. And what you'll notice is through the prayer, read it for yourself. I ain't got time to read it for you. Go home and read it for yourself. What you look at your name and say, he studied, he studied, he studied. What you'll notice when you're reading the prayer, that prayer becomes a dialogue. And the prayer and dialogue are interchangeable. And within his dialogue, as he's talking to God, he's telling God about his past victories. Lord, have mercy. If you ever want your faith to ever get stronger in the Lord, think about what God has already done for you that put a smile on your face. And it shouldn't take much. All you got to do is look in the doggone mirror and say, God, you've been good to me. Put your hands together and say, God has been good to me. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so past victories, past victors ought to keep you shouting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. A. Lewis Patterson. I said past victors ought to keep you shouting. That's, that, that, that's why I could shout from 19 into 20 because I had some downs in 19, but I wasn't down long. Man, see, y'all was, y'all was looking for something heavy. I said I wasn't down long. In other words, I got knocked down, but I got back. So he took fear, and he used fear as fuel to cause him to lament, to pour out his concerns to God. Huh? Talks to God, and then he said, guess what? You know what? God, God ain't just been good to me. You know what we're going to call a fast. It's right there in your Bible. Yeah, they say Huh? Yeah. We're going we to we call a nationwide fast. Come on, help me in here. Huh? This, this situation, this crisis is so big, it's so troublesome, that I need community involvement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need folk who can get a prayer through. I need folk who can say, you know what? I'm willing to sacrifice to get God's attention. Lord have mercy and that's my hook right there for somebody here you ain't sacrificed in 19 but you can testify God is calling you now to a level of sacrifice because the more you want from him God said I want just as much from you <laughs> sacrifice uh, what are you willing to give up come on help me in here what, 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 what are you willing to sacrifice? Yeah. That's why when we talk about seed off, it's a good place to put it right here. Can I, can I, can I, can I get some power right here? Thank you, thank, thank you. Yes, sir. That's why we talk, talk about seed offering because seed is a sacrifice. Yeah. Pastor, I ain't up here telling you, I'm asking you for his health. I'm asking you for your wealth. Yeah. Are you in here? Well, Pastor, I ain't wealthy. That's a lie and the devil is a lie. What you talking about, Pastor Dawson? I don't have Donald Trump money. Can I help y'all real quick? You don't have to have skunk money to be wealthy. If my father is rich, I'm rich. If my father owns a cattle on a thousand hills, guess what? All I got to do is call on him. Tell him what? Huh? 
So whatever he has, yes, all I have to do is ask, seek, and knock. Lord, oh, did I just say that? Look at your neighbor and say, learn how to ask, seek, and knock. And it shall be open. Open up your mouth if you want something from him. So, so he says, okay, God, look, you know, you've, 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 you've blessed us. You've blessed us. You've kept us. You propped us up. Yeah. Look at verse number four. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Yeah. So now Jehoshaphat wasn't the only one. <laughs> In verse three, he inquired of the Lord. Man, we got to get the verse number twenty. In verse three, he inquired of the Lord. Yeah. Are you in here? And then what did he do? Proclaimed a fast for all of Judah. In verse 4, Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Lord have mercy. Folk came from near and far to seek help from the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly. Yes, mm. sir. And had uh-huh. a little talk with him. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, God of our fathers. Can I just yeah. read just a little bit of that? Yeah. Are you not the God who is in the heaven? Yeah. That's verse number six. Yeah. Huh? Are you not the God who's in the heaven? You rule over all yeah. the kingdoms. Yeah. Power and might are in your hand. Yeah. And no one can withstand you. God, strength, omnipotence is in your hand. So when I call on you, I'm automatically igniting your power in the situation. So when I call on God, I ain't just calling on anybody. I'm calling on the one who's able to make everything all right. So, uh, (laughs) he said, verse number nine, if calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence. Learn how to stand in assurance. That God has not brought you this far to leave you. Watch this. Watch this. We will stand before this temple that bears your name and will cry out, Lord have mercy. So not only will we stand there, but as we're standing there, we're not going to stargaze. We're going to open our mouth. Isn't that strange, y'all? Because anytime you come to church, something really ought to come out your mouth. (sighs) Some folk come to be entertained, and some folk come to hear the word explained. Lord, huh? And the difference is, is that you're looking mm, for entertainment, and entertainment is outside of the four walls. And so, y'all, I'm weary about folk who say they enjoy church. Church ain't always for your enjoyment. Sometimes the same place that you find your enjoyment is the same place that can make you cry. Look at his name say, he's preaching right, man. The word of God is like a two-edged sword, huh? 